Well, guys, I have a fabulous video for you today. So I've come to UNESCO World Heritage Site Xochimilco, which is still within the boundaries of Mexico City, although it doesn't look like it, if you can see the view behind me here. Uh, so this is a place where families come and they rent the most beautifully colored, typically Mexican colored, gondolas. They spend the day floating down the canal while other gondolas full of mariachis or vendors of alcohol, food, all kinds of Mexican food, pull up beside them. They get their drinks, they get their food, they get their music and they continue down the canal and have the most fun day from what I can see in here. So it's almost like I've been transported back in time, but with this whole fiesta atmosphere, it feels really modern. Uh, so I'm going to spend some time here. I'm going to go down the canal. And after this, I'm going to go to the Dolores Olmedo Museum, which is also in Xochimilco. And it's home to the biggest collection of art by Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera in the world, not just Mexico. So I'm really excited about that. But first, let's go and see if we can find the gondola. We finally made it to Xochimilco. We're on one of the famous trajineras, which I would describe as a Mexican gondola. And we're now going to take a little boat trip down the canal. And at one stage, it's really interesting because Mexico City, or Tenochtitlan as it was known um, before the Spanish arrived, was all centered, it was a centered around this whole canal system. So this is like the last remaining part of the canals that would have been there when the Spanish first arrived and saw the pyramid right in the center of Tenochtitlan. So it's amazing to be able to still navigate these waters and imagine what it would have looked like if the whole city was still like this. It's just beautiful. So I'm really excited to see what's in store. I've been told that you can buy food, that there's mariachis. Um, so let's see what it's like. This is amazing, so it's like this every single day here. Every single day. So I'm so excited about being here right now. I'm in the Dolores Olmedo Museum in Xochimilco. And this museum houses the biggest collection of art by Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera in the world, not just Mexico, in the world. But the whole building that this art is housed in uh, was a 16th century hacienda in the most beautiful gardens. They have peacocks, they have all sorts of flowers. It's just, it's worth coming here just to be in the grounds. And um, thankfully we're inside getting to have a walk around. And uh, not only that, because it's 2014, it's the 20th anniversary of the museum. So for this year only, we're allowed to take pictures while we're in the museum something that you're not usually allowed to do. So I'm really, really excited about getting some pictures. The permit is 60 pesos, they told me, which is like $5, which is nothing really when you think about it. And the entry fee to the museum was 65 pesos, so again, like around $5. Uh, and one of the cutest things that I found out that, uh, since I got here was that Dolores Olmedo actually wanted to get um, Diego Rivera's work in here. And part of the deal was that he, she couldn't have his work unless she took Frida Kahlo's work as well. So that was true love on his part, I think. Um, so I'm really, really excited because I've been told that here you have Diego Rivera's self-portrait. You have his sunset collection, which he painted in Dolores Olmedo's house. Uh, this is her behind me. He painted this portrait of her as well. Um, so I'm going to get wandering around, get some pictures, and I will get them up onto the blog so that you can all have a look at them as well. So I'm here now in Frida's collection, and I have to admit, I don't know why I'm, I'm not an art critic, but for some reason I feel more connected to Frida's art. I can really see a lot of both their ideologies in both their works. I can see a lot of of their feelings and their inner kind of demons through their, their artwork. Uh, but maybe it's because as a woman, I can feel like I can empathize a bit more with, with Frida's work. I can almost feel her pain and her tragedy through her painting. So anyone who is interested in Frida Kahlo's art, and even if you're not an art lover, I still think this is one of the must-see places in Mexico City because it's just absolutely beautiful for the building, the gardens, and for the, the original Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera artwork. There's nowhere else like it on Earth. So the museum is closing and it's the end of another long day in Mexico and it's strange because every day I think, oh, today was the best day ever. And then the next day I do something else and I think, no, this was the best day ever. And today has just been absolutely amazing. So Chimilco, um, I just, oh, I can't get over it to think that once Mexico, the whole of Mexico City was built around these canal systems and now that it's no longer there, I'm so glad that you can still see what's left of those canals in Xochimilco. There was 
plants growing everywhere. I'm told that that's where they grow a lot of the food for the city as well. It was just, oh, I don't think there's anything like it in the world. I mean, I know Venice, but it's just something completely different. It's like Venice Mexican style. I think I would describe it that way. Uh, and the museum as well, to see Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera in real life and see up close their work. Oh, I mean, I just, I'm fascinated by it. I know I'm not a huge art lover, but I just, Oh, I absolutely loved it. Oh, I'm told Alicia has organized for me to go and get some food as well when we go to see the Mole. And I'm told that there's amazing views of the volcanoes from there. So the volcanoes I saw when I was flying into Mexico City, I'm going to get to see them a little bit cl more close up. Uh, so right now it's goodbye for me. I'm so tired. It's goodbye from the baby peacocks as well. Uh, I think I'm going to go and take one more picture of the little baby peacocks because they're so cute. And then I'm going to go and hit the sack. Uh, so make sure to follow me for the next uh, episode where you get to see the Mole and the volcanoes. Night night. Bye.